Here is a tour of the Hops House in Eastport, Maine. This is the entryway. Get ready, this is a 6,800 square foot house built in the early 1800s off the coast of Maine. Here we go. Chimney one. There's about, I don't know, multiple chimneys in this place. It's really amazing. Each room, each big room essentially has a fireplace. There's another fireplace. This would be the dining room kitchen area or the kitchen, I'd say. Here's the basement. I hear water. It's raining out pretty badly right now. Here's a bathroom. And a set of stairs that curve up. the front door to where we just cleared all the trees. There's another fireplace. One of the living rooms. Some artwork. See if there's any signature on the back, James. Cal Kathy Walsh Perry. It doesn't have a date. Here's this staircase. I wish I could get back up. So you guys could see all the detail. Crystal chandelier. Another painting. Look at the details and the curves and the walls and the stairs. And then windows above the inner doors. The detail. at the old bell, I would say, or light switches. They're so old, push button light switches. You don't see that ever. The old shutters. And these doors. I'd like to tell you what each room is, but James would have to do that. James is the owner in the one with all the vision. James has been saving these beautiful houses in Maine. 
he has quite a few houses at this point. His, his other house has a great big ramp and it's very cool and the ramp leads up to the, the top of the house so you could take your groceries up or wood in the winter. It's about uh, 95 feet. And it goes up to the most beautiful view in Maine, I would say, in Cutler. There's another fireplace. We're just getting started. This place is big. Here's another lounge area, living room. Is another bathroom. You can hear all these creaks and noises in this place. I wouldn't want to come in here at night. Now we're going to go up to the this is the federal building. This is the first original side. And then the second place was added here. We can get a good glimpse of the barn that we're redoing. There's the roof. There's the inside. That's the other side that we just came from. We'll make our way around. So here is a bedroom. A big closet. Another bedroom. It's cool how the beds still set up in here. takes a dedicated person to purchase and invest in such a big house for the simple fact he does not want to see it go it's extinct shout out to you James and I hope you like the view of the camera better this time Another hallway, another set of stairs. Look how steep these stairs are. We'll go up there in a second. I just want to show you guys all the rooms. Remember, we're on the second floor. Well, the third, if you count the basement. A little light fixture. Here's the stairway that we had looked at. Another fireplace. Another fireplace. Closet. An old bathroom.
Here's that hallway. There's another steep spiral staircase. I'm not gonna attempt to that right now. This is where we just went by. I said I would go up. Actually, it's the other one. So now we're going to the third or the fourth. This is the third, and this would be the fourth, the attic. You guys want to see what's up there? Can't really see nothing. There was a fire in here at some point. You'll be able to see when I get over here. Here's another bedroom. There's the steep staircase. Somebody painted over the charcoal. Looks pretty cool though. Here's the view to the neighbors. Look how high up we are. And there is the ocean. See a better view over here. Look at that view. It's hard to see because of the overcast and the weather today but it's just amazing. We're gonna take these trees down so you have a straight, clear view of that ocean. Now let's attempt to go down these steep, steep stairs. Let's take a ladder. Look at my feet. They hang over the stairs almost six inches. gather my where are we? okay let's go over down this side oh, I didn't get to show you guys the closet just so much detail in these old houses you do not see it anymore okay now we're gonna go this way Way. Wait till you see this. This is the uh, horseshoe. That's what I call it. But that would be a perfect spot for a little patio, garden, whatnot. Here's another bedroom. big walk-in closet or a bedroom. And here is another bedroom. Here's another bathroom with two Toilets. And here is another closet that really needs to be uh, closed in to prevent weather. Looks as though somebody started redoing this wall. Look at this wall. It's got Thick layers of mud. So they used to do is put uh, plaster, horsehair plaster, on these old houses. Now we're back to where we started. The barn will be showed in the next video. Uh, I'm not going to attempt that today. Uh, we'll be going upstairs. We'll be watching this uh, process really take hold and watch this place as it comes back to life. We'll watch the barn get reconstructed, lifted back up, 
and put back together. And James will not let this place fall down. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, James, for all the opportunities. And we love working for you. We love your projects. Keep them coming. And we'll keep getting them done.